Senator Ted Budd is out with a new bill that he says would crack down on human trafficking. CBS 17 digital reporter Jenny McCrary is fact-checking the bill and finds it may actually be going after something else. The bill does not say anything about the traffickers themselves. What it does is threaten fines and prison time for another group, abortion providers. The bill, the way that it reads, is a classic wolf in sheep's clothing. Senator Ted Budd's office says traffickers coerce their victims to have abortions. The bill would put the onus on those providers to notify authorities if it happens in their facilities. If they don't, they could be punished. It looks like on its face something that we can all get behind, combating human trafficking. But really what it looks like it's designed to do is to regulate and punish abortion clinics out of existence. The bill would require abortion providers to report suspected cases of trafficking within 24 hours or face a fine of $10,000 or six months in prison. They also would have to complete training every year to better spot victims or be fined $1,000 for each day they don't comply. But really what the bill requires abortion providers to do is to notify the trafficking hotline within 24 hours if there's any reasonable suspicion that a patient might be a victim. That's an extremely low legal bar. I asked Bud's office how he would respond to criticism that the bill is more about abortion than trafficking. They said in a statement that providing common sense training and reporting requirements to help stop human trafficking is squarely in the public interest and would help in the effort to protect women from this evil abuse. Ironically, there's one person from Senator Bud's past who knows an awful lot about the issue. You can find out who that is in my story online. Jody McCrary, CBS 17 News.